Um, I left government four years ago today. I did not take any records or secret documents with me. I don't have access to document logs. I don't have access to my old calendars, and I don't have access to any records. So I'm relying on media stories and Google searches. Um, and as I indicated in uh, responding to the clerk, I have no memory of seeing that note, which is referred to in a media clipping. Um, if I read it, and I probably did, it was six years ago. Thank you. In or around that time, uh, did you have information that Beijing officials were actively pursuing a strategy to infiltrate or interfere in our democratic processes? Not that I recall. Uh, and so you have no information that agents of the Beijing regime were assisting candidates running for political offices in Canada? You don't recall having any discussions around interference by Beijing whatsoever? No, at the time, uh, the, the main preoccupation was Russia. It was a month after the French presidential election, and we were very concerned about disruption of elections, but most of the attention was on Russia at the time. That any serious allegation of foreign interference, whether during an election or in other aspects of our democracy, be subject to a rigorous examination. I hope that the various reviews launched will both bring light on the alleged information, but also, as importantly, inform the public policy on the required measures to equip the relevant institutional actors in prevention, deterrence, and the application of consequences. Uh, in or around June 17, did you prepare a memorandum to the Prime Minister regarding foreign interference by the Beijing Communist regime? A few points. First of all, I've been outside the government for five years. I've been out of the PCO for five years, so I don't have any access to my records. I don't have any access. Having said that, even if I had, I wouldn't be able to discuss a classified memo. But I don't want to be seen as trying to evade the question, so I will be clear that during my period as National Security Advisors, yes, we briefed the, for the Prime Minister on foreign interference, China and others, uh, because, of course, it's not only China. And uh, we brief both in the context of larger conversations on China. We brief in the context of uh, notes that we send. And uh, of the growing concern that we had, but also some of our allies. And, uh, Mr. Jean, for you, Madam Chair, I want to be clear. I'm not asking you to uh, confirm or elaborate upon the contents of any memo. I, I'm asking very broadly whether a, a memo had been prepared in June of 2017, or, or, or perhaps if, even if uh, taking your point, if you could more broadly uh, elaborate on uh, how regularly, for example, you would brief the Prime Minister regarding interference activities by the Beijing regime in or around uh, June of 2017 or uh, at that time? Well, I was in the position for two years from 2016, spring of 2016 to 2018, and we had s numerous conversations on China. Some of these China did uh, refer to the subject of foreign interference, and we had notes that we sent to the Prime Minister on that time that spoke about this concern, yes. And we also, if we had other intelligence tools, as you, as you know. And so you had some – among the concerns that you had at that time uh, would have uh, included, uh, uh, for example, Beijing uh, officials pursuing a strategy to infiltrate or interfere with our democratic processes. That would have been a live issue in 2017. So it's very important to see the – the threat of foreign interference by a country like China, not something as is binary, right? It's not like it's off one day and it's on the next day. It's things that comes over time. During the period that I was uh, in the position, our concerns were, you know, a lot more on some of the issues like acquisition of sensitive technology, what we like to refer as economic security. And we took a number of measures that have actually allowed to provide more scrutiny on this. We had other concerns with China. Foreign interference was one of them. But it was not a period where there was there were signals. Like there's a reason why in 2015 the Department of Foreign Affairs decided to be more direct in putting on notice countries that they should not interfere. But there was not smoking going. There was just like activities 
that we just wanted to make sure uh, would not uh, result in, in, in any kind of interference.